picture this. It's a festive evening. The glasses are clinking and everyone is toasting with something bubbly. But wait, is it champagne, prosecco, or just another sparkling wine? What's the difference? Well, <laughs> get you a glass of bubbly because we're about to dive in to discover what sets these sparkling wines apart. But first, let's get into that intro. Welcome to Beats and Wine Stories. My name is Steve, and I'm your host through this vast world of wine and the music that dances along with it. Join us as we journey through the sensory experiences that define cultures, awaken the palate, and stir the heart. So grab your favorite glass and let the journey begin. This is Beats and Wine Stories. So let's talk about sparkling wines. Sparkling wine is an umbrella term for any wine with bubbles, created by trapping carbon dioxide in the liquid. These wines can be made anywhere in the world, from California to Australia. And yes, even in your backyard, if you're feeling adventurous. Now let's talk about champagne. The name alone evokes images of glamour, luxury, and celebration. But what makes champagne so special? To call a wine champagne, it must come from the Champagne region of France. This strict geographical designation is enforced by French law. But it's not just the location. Champagne follows a specific production method known as méthode champenoise or traditional method. This involves a second fermentation in the bottle, which creates those iconic fine bubbles and complex flavors. Imagine the ancient chalk cellars of Champagne, where bottles lie patiently on their sides, waiting to become the adored sparkling liquid gold. It's a labor of love and a testament to time and tradition. Each bottle is meticulously turned and aged to perfection, and the result is a luxurious experience in every sip. Now let's move to Prosecco, the Italian charmer. Picture the rolling hills of the Veneto region in Italy, where Glera grapes bask in the Italian sun, turning into that crisp, aromatic Prosecco we love to toast with. Unlike Champagne, Prosecco is produced using the Charmat method, where the second fermentation happens in large stainless steel tanks. This method preserves the fresh, fruity flavors that make Prosecco so delightfully refreshing. And just like Champagne, which must come from the Champagne region of France, Prosecco must come from a specific region in Italy for the wine to be named Prosecco, which helps preserve the quality and uniqueness of the wine. Besides the production methods and regions that separate Champagne and Prosecco, it's all about the experience. Champagne tends to be more complex with flavors of brioche, almond, and citrus. It's the choice for special occasions and a symbol of sophistication. Prosecco, on the other hand, is light, fruity, and perfect for casual gatherings or a sunny afternoon brunch. Now, of course, there are other sparkling wines that I did not go into detail here, like Cava from Spain, or Cremant from various regions in France, and sparkling wines from the New World. New World means any place outside of Europe. Each has its unique charm, offering something for every palate and occasion. So whether you're popping a bottle of champagne for a milestone celebration, enjoying a glass of Prosecco with friends, or exploring the vast world of sparkling wines, remember that each bubble carries a story of its own. Next time you find yourself in the wine aisle, you'll know exactly what to look for. And that's the magic of wine. It's not just about drinking. It's about discovering, experiencing, and celebrating life's moments. Once again, thank you for joining and listening in. For the music of Beats and Wine, visit beatsandwine.com forward slash music. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, cheers to your exceptional self. <laughs>